Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to be here. Thanks for coming. So, the plan of my talk today um, uh, is to, I'm afraid, I uh, have a small technical problem. I cannot go for it. I don't have a solution. Okay, now try. Okay. Oh, that works. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. So here's the plan of my talk today. I will tell you about the uh, color shepherd from Alexia Mochla. I space this up for a very shortly. Uh, recall something about the modular space of signal pairs, as these will be the higher dimensional analogs of such spaces. And then I will tell you what was the hacking field U conjecture, which is no more a theorem, but Valeria Alexia and Siri Kusev. Which says that the case B much less states of stable local labial surfaces up to a finite color esoteric variety. So we currently have a draft of 100 pages and we plan to be doing the final revisions. It will be on our top this month. So I will tell you the motivation behind this conjecture coming from bird symmetry, and I will tell you a little bit about the proof. And Pirik, in his second part of the talk, will go into more details of the proof. Okay, to start with M bar GM, the modular space of genus G stable curves with N marked points that I denote by C, where C is a reduced curve with arithmetic genus G, which has at first nodal singularities. And here P1 to Pn are distinct smooth points on this curve. And this modular space consists of stable curves which satisfy the stability condition, which most people know as the automorphism group of such a marked model curve is finite. This is equivalent to saying that uh, the canonical divisor sums up with the sum of these points. This divisor is an and it is known that geometrically this is a nice space, particularly if it's a proper Deli Montfort stack and it has dimension 3G minus 3 plus n. This space is extensively studied. There have been several versions of this space studied. One version uh, that is particularly related to our story was um, introduced in generality by Hassif as the motion space of marked. Stable, weighted uh, marked stable curves. This consists of uh, points in this modular space are genus G stable curves with unmarked points again. Uh, unlike in the previous case, they don't necessarily need to be this thing. And uh, to every marked point, one associates a weight, a number epsilon, which is between 0 and 1, a very small number. And points with weights, if the corresponding weights sum up to at most one, they can come together. Historically, a version of such marked moduli spaces had previously um, studied first by Losev and Manin. They are known as Losev Manin spaces. They considered particularly uh, the case where one looks at genus zero stable curves with n plus two marked points. Two of them I do not by P0 and P infinity, giving the anti-canonical divisor. And um, others all have weights epsilon for a very small number epsilon. And um, it was proven by Lusik Manin that if one studies such modular spaces, the geometry becomes particularly nice. Uh, these they show that all these modular spaces are toric varieties. And they describe concretely the corresponding uh, momentum quote of image given in terms of some kind of tahedron. And if we study the case the modular space, in the one-dimensional situation, I will tell you the higher-dimensional analog in a minute, it will be very similar to the construction of Lusik Manin. We will look at, in the one-dimensional situation, if we look at P1 together with its anti-canonical divisor, which corresponds to these two points, plus epsilon C, where C is the sum of all the endpoints, together with its epsilon, um, 
that we can consider the homogenized space, there's just a slight difference. Here, one considers ordered points, here one considers non-ordered non points, but then divides by Sn, which is a symmetry group of n, n letters. And uh, modulo this quotient, it is shown in more generality for toric varieties that this is the KSP modulized space, which is a toric variety. And the corresponding fan to this toric variety is the secondary fan associated to the polytor, just the interval divided into n intervals. I will in a minute tell you more about what the secondary fan is um, and the more general setup of toric uh, varieties, but for now it's just a uh, uh, fan whose maximal cones correspond to coherent subdivisions of a given polytor. In the higher dimensional situation, when we look at the modulized space of stable pairs rather than stable curves, this modulized space consists of pairs yd, where y here is a projective variety, and b is a q divisor. Again, uh, we want some stability condition, and uh, we want some condition analog to the, in the case of when we consider marked curves, we allow adverse nodal singularities. The higher dimensional analog of having adverse nodal singularities is saying why we has so-called semi-canonical singularities, which appear in the minimal model program. And the stability condition translates to saying Ky plus P is a Q-Cartian ample divisor. We denote by M KSBA the modulized space of stable pairs, and um, this modulized space again has some um, uh, nice features, particularly the connected components are propagating matrix stacks. So, unlike in the situation of modulized space of curves, they are not generally irreducible. And when we try to understand, people try to understand the geometry of this modulized space, aim to describe the geometry of irreducible components of this modulized space. As an example, if you consider a toric variety Y, together with the divisor D corresponding to the anti-canonical divisor given by the union of torus fixed divisors, which is the toric boundary divisor, and if you take an ample line model on the toric variety, I will denote by M by DL the closure of, in this case, the stable pairs of uh, the, the locus of stable pairs by D plus epsilon C. So here for B, I'm taking B plus epsilon C, analogous to the one dimensional situation. And here C is an ample divisor in the linear system. In this situation, if you consider such toric pairs, one of the key results of Valery Alexiev dating back to early 2000 says that uh, for such toric pairs, if you take the normalization of the modulized space of the KSP modulized space, um, I will use the convention that I will denote this uh, irreducible clo closure of the connected component. The, I will call this the KSB modulized space denoted by M by DL. This is a toric variety, and he shows that the associated fan for this toric variety is the secondary fan for the momentum polytop of this toric variety, the fan uh, by M by DL. So this is in any dimension? He proves this in any dimension for any toric variety, not only in dimension 2, right? And oh. What actually moves in this modular space? What changes? Is this epsilon C changes? Right. In this case, when you have a toric variety, Y is rigid, there is no complex deformation yeah. moduli. In this case, only C changes. And I will, in a minute, tell you when we look at the local of your situation, we also need to consider deformations of Y uh, and the non toric uh, situation. It, it will also change. 
So here is what we look at the moduli. We want to understand the PSP moduli space of both columnar surfaces. And in this situation, um, the moduli space is defined as follows. We fix a triple YDL, which we call a polarized Columbia surface. Here Y is a projected surface, and D is a maximal reduced anti-canonical divisor inside Y, maximal in the sense that it's not smooth, it has in the surface case, like it has at least one node. And um, we want the pair YD to have low canonical singularities. Again, such singularities appear in a minimal model program. Particular situations which satisfy this condition is when y is smooth and d is normal crossing. But generally, y can be singular having full canonical singularities in and, um, and our definition of local labial surface. And we take L and ample line bundle on y, and again, we denote by m by dl the closure of the locus of stable pairs, which are the formation equivalent to y, as um, Makoko mentioned here, y is no more rigid. There's a complex moduli when you look at local VL surfaces rather than just toric surfaces. So this changes also we take C in the otherwise in the linear system of and so I will in a minute give a concrete example of this and the toric situation, but first note that the stability condition, which was saying that ky plus e, which is d plus epsilon c, automatically helps in this setup because d is the anti-canonical divisor, so ky plus d is zero, and you just let epsilon c where c is ample. So the stability automatically holds, and the condition on the singularities, uh, the SLC condition, uh, will translate into the fact that the curve C that I draw here in red and uh, I denote by in black the toric boundary divisor, the SLC condition translates to requiring C not to go through the zero dimensional strata of B. And, um, your, your pair will be of good time. So our main result in our paper is showing that the moisturized space and by the yellow of polarized or polarized surfaces up to a finite color is a toric variety. And this was conjectured in all dimensions by hacking kill you and we prove that for every local real surface. And so far, the previous one cases which satisfy this conjecture are due to Alexiev and the Torrid setup, the result I mentioned, and it was shown by Hacking Kill You. The six Dalpetsos, concretely given by Dalpetsos of degree n, where n is from 1 to 6, well, if you're 6, you're again in the Torrid case. And these the cycle of uh, n minus one curves, and where they fix particularly the ample line bundle to be minus k y, plus as its lowest condition. And there is something particularly nice about these situations, um, I will mention. So before going into how we prove this, I will tell you a motivation coming from mirror symmetry saying, how this whole story is related to mirror symmetry. Here is a vague motivation. I will tell a more concrete motivation in a minute. So the vague motivation is you can interpret this case being moduli space as a complex moduli space of um, threefold, not only by looking at the formations of YDL, but by looking at the canonically associated truefold, uh, defined as follows, if you look at the complement of a local ideal, uh, I call it U, and if you, uh, the complement of the device of D and Y, I call it U, and if you look at the restriction of your curve C, um, to you, this is given by the vanishing locus C is in the class of L. Um, so C is in the linear system of L. Uh, so C restricted U is in the 
it's given by the vanishing locus of a section, which I call S. And then you can look at the color VLR threefold, UV equals S, inside the total space of the sum of the line bundles L and the trivial line bundle over U, where U is a coordinate here and U is a coordinate here. So this threefold, I drew a a picture here of you and a real picture I see inside you um, corresponds to a vibration of a U where every from C you have C stars and over any point in C you have UV equals S. So you can interpret the case B motionized space as a complex motionized space of such a threefold and found what mirror symmetry proposes is that um, there should be a mirror and the Kalar moduli space of the mirror to this colloidal threefold, which we often call the mirror family to find the L by our views, um, should uh, be given by the complex moduli space of this uh, mirror C. And if you believe this expectation proposal that looks at binary symmetry, then it should be true um, vaguely again, because um, if you look at the Kalecon or Antelcon of compact Kalecon of Kalecon actually, it's only conjecturally due to Kawamata uh, polyhedral con, but roughly you should expect that you will get a toric variety whose fund is given by the union of the Kalar cons of the rational models of the mirror family. So this is a vague expectation for mirror symmetry why one would expect this to be a toric variety. Is it clear why there should be a planet over this for it? Um, it's, it's not clear, particularly in the Colombia situation, even I there, there are only even very few cases where we even know the uh, Kawamata Morrison conjecture that you know there are uh, the Kalar cones are polyhedral cones and they cover the fun. But um, it will become clear in our picture because we will always get so called Mori dream spaces as the mirrors and then uh, assuming. And in fact, we will show that you actually get honest cons and they will complete to a fun. I will tell why we get more dream spaces in our construction or as the mirrors of Y. And their killer cons will give a toric fun. Uh, we call the Mori fun. And a uh, minute, that will be cases where these calamity come from a final triple minus an anti canon algebra. Right, this is a colloidal threefold because the complement of the local colloidal here is a colloidal roughly. And if you take this vibration, you imagine that if it would be just a C star vibration of a colloidal, it will be colloidal, and roughly this doesn't affect the condition that it still is a colloidal. Okay, here is a more concrete motivation um, in the toric situation. How is the whole key space story related to secondary times and how it's related to mirror symmetry? So let me say how is the case moduli space related to secondary times? If you concretely look at the toric variety P1 cross P1 with D the anti-canonical divisor, and if you take a, your line bundle also uh, the line bundle corresponding to minus P by the anti-canonical divisor. And um, here is the momentum point of image of the historic variety that I drew. If you look at the case the image y space, you're looking at y d together with all curves c in the linear system of L. So all such curves are given by the zero vanishing locus of such an equation whose Newton polytope will give you the square where a0, a1, a2, a3, a4 are some coefficients. And if you would really have a toric variety in the theory of toric varieties, if you have a toric fan, every point in the toric fan can be described as the corresponds to the limit of a one parameter family uh, of a one parameter subgroup C star inside your in, in the big torus. And 
So similarly, if you study just one parameter families of these coefficients, and um, so you consider a one parameter, you, def you deform these coefficients in one parameter families where t denotes the parameter. And if you expand them and denote by t to the hi the leading term in the power series expansion as t goes to zero, and I let hi an element in z, um, such that this is the leading term, and we call hi the heights, then uh, from the data of all such coefficients, you get the data of all heights. But actually, you don't really get five different types in this case, because there's always a C-star square action. You can reparameterize things, and you can also scale things. So we actually can get rid of, by reparameterization, two parameters, and by scaling one more parameter. So we only look at two heights. So the case B moduli space is always of dimension R to the, the integral points of your polytop minus the dimension of your polytop minus one due to the reparameterization and scaling. And once we get the data of heights, we can define a convex piecewise linear function on the polytop and uh, the composition on P, such that um, if you look at the lower convex hull of the PL function, uh, it agrees with when you look at the lower convex hull if you lift every point but to, to the given heights. Um, so from the beta of heights, you can get the convex scale function, and as t goes to zero, the domains of linearity of such a convex scale function, in this case I drew some, uh, they do describe a toric degeneration of your toric variety into other toric varieties. And such data is described just by taking regular subdivisions of P. So this is why the secondary fan appears in this context. So um, from the data of varying C, you get highs, this defines polyhedral decomposition. So the case B moduli space turns out to be the toric variety, whose fun is associated with secondary fun, in this case it's P2, and the toric variety with maximal counts is uh, corresponding to regular subdivisions of your toric variety, which I drew here. And if you look at why the secondary fun has anything to do with square symmetry, here I try to give the motivation and the toric situation. If you look at your YDL, um, then um, if you consider the threefold actually, if you want to understand the mirror family to YDL or the threefold C that we were mentioning, then you put your polytop corresponding to the momentum polytop of YDL at type one, you take the cone of it and you build it as the fun of the meritory variety. So you will get this fun and the meritory variety to YDL or the associated threefold will be the threefold whose fun is this. So it will be a singular threefold um, whose momentum photop is the cone of uh, P at type one, cone of a P at type one. However, what we do is we don't in mirror symmetry only want to consider a single YDL, but we want to consider YDL together with its deformations. In particular, we are interested in maximal degenerations, which are defined by maximal subdivisions of P. And if you look at the YDL together with the maximal degeneration, mirror symmetry proposes that the mirror should not only consist of the singular toric variety, but this together with the Crippon resolution of it. In this situation, the only maximal um, subdivision corresponding to a maximal degeneration is this one. There is one toric Crippon resolution. So if you take this Crippon resolution, you will get a threefold, which is um, KY. This will be the declared to be the mirror of the toric variety. And um, 
So I will denote this Kirkland resolution by x to x bar, which is being so the mirror of YBL. And it's known by standard toric geometry, like in the sense of Cox, Weevil, Shank, that the Morikon of the Kirkland resolution here is actually the secondary fan of your toric variety YBL. So here, the Mori fan is the fan uh, where, um, where, where the maximal cones are all the net cones of all toric crepant resolutions of your toric variety. In this case, there's only one toric crepant resolution, which is related to the fact that we have only one integral point inside. And um, then uh, you have some additional cones, which are bogus cones, which are not that important. I will tell in a minute what these are. And um, so the statement is saying that if you know to a given radial what the mirror is, if you know the birational geometry, all net cones, in particular the morifon, then you will be able to tell what the secondary fund for your initial toric variety is, and what, hence what the case the emotional space is. So here, bogus cones are just the cones corresponding to the, so if you have this decomposition versus any of these decompositions, if you call the Kirkland resolution X here, if you take rather the toric varieties who are whose funds are the cones over these things, they will be related by some birational maps. Um, and I do not buy x and x prime those toric varieties, their net cones will be corresponding to the boundary of the net cone of x. And the bogus cones are just additional cones spent by the net cones of such images of birational maps together with what you construct to obtain them. They are called bogus uh, terminology of Kiel because they can essentially be recovered if you just know all of the net cones of uh, all for equivalent resolution, so they're not that tricky. Okay, so now we want to understand a similar story if you can understand what the mirror of a given local of your surface is, and if you can run a similar story in the non torique setup, if you can construct with a so called Mori fund, which would give a generalization of the secondary fund. That would describe the case we have much last day. So the first problem here, given a polarized so colibial surface, together with the maximal degeneration, we need to understand what is the mirror in the previous example, which was corresponding to a Crepant resolution. Here it will be a Crepant resolution of a disk. And uh, the first input of our the first thing we provide in our paper is to describe a mirror construction for a polarized so-colibial surface together with the maximum generation. So in all the previous cases where the conjecture was known for the six dot widths studied by Heck and Heel, uh, such a mirror construction is not appearing because these are, these are essentially in some way soft mirror due to the fact that their complex modular space has the same dimensional to Kalar moduli. And so in all these situations, the x appears as a canonical bundle of a y, and x bar is just obtained by contracting phi to a point. So in the next slides, I will tell you how do we construct the mirror, and how do we define the Mori fan, and how do we describe the generalization of the secondary fan. And just to point out, the so far available constructions of mirrors to local VLs due to gross heck and kill, gross seeded and kill U, do not apply to understand mirrors to local VLs together with maximum degenerations. Gross heck and kill concerns single body L, which could interpret it as giving us this. But then, if we take an arbitrary Crepon resolution, this is not good enough if you, we don't use the initial geometry of YDL to prove things. And um, Grossibert does not apply either because Grossibert mirror symmetry constructs mirrors to toric degenerations in early on work of Grossibert, and 
and uh, later on group of Brock Siebert, they construct intrinsic neurons to block smooth maximal regenerations. And um, these are particular look smooth maximal degenerations, uh, which uh, have some nice properties, which is in, in our situation, which is not the case. So they're in the case. The maximal degenerations of local level surfaces will not be log smooth. And Kayla and you have an Archimedean mirror construction, which also applies under some restricted situations in the case when the complement by minus t to a local ideal is defined, which is also not the case. So let me just mention a little bit about this. Um, so in the early on, in early 2000s, Klaus started to develop their program in mirror symmetry by saying that if you look at the degeneration of Klaus um, if you want to understand the mirror of a Colabial, you should view it inside the degenerating family over the spec of some discrete valuation ring, where you look at the central fiber and just look at the intersection complex of the central fiber. I will draw some naive picture. And you want this to be a toric degeneration in the sense that this degeneration should satisfy that the central fiber is a union of toric varieties built along toric strata, which means um, the singularities of the integral f structure on the base can only appear uh, away from zero-dimensional strata because they have the additional condition around the zero-dimensional toric strata. Uh, you should have some the the morphism you have from x0 should be monomial, and um, the singularities shouldn't go there. In this situation, they develop a program to construct a mirror to such a toric degeneration. They first construct a mirror x0 check by constructing the discrete Legendre dual and taking the dual of this, it, it would be roughly a picture like this, amounts to, uh, again, constructing an integral of one manifold with singularities, where the singularities are, again, away from the zero-dimensional strata. And then, well, this was viewed as the intersection complex of x0. This is the dual intersection complex of x0. We want to view this as the intersection complex of the mirror. So the whole mirror symmetry is understood essentially combinatorially on the level of central fibers, and then one constructs, once one understands how to glue the toric pieces by gluing data into X0 check, there's a inductive recipe to construct the mirror. And um, so the idea in this old toric degeneration mirror symmetry is to construct mirrors so toric degenerations where singularities on the intersection or dual intersection complex are away from the zero strata. And the new framework of intrinsic mirror symmetry developed in the more recent years, they look at more general degenerations, which are not toric degenerations, they consider maximal degenerations of collabials where singularities don't necessarily need to be on the one-dimensional strata of the base corresponding intersection complex, but they could be inside the two-dimensional strata. However, the log smoothness condition, log smooth maximal degenerations, impose that they still cannot be at the vertices of your decomposition. So we will not want um, the generations where the associated integral at time manifold with singularities would have singularities at um, the vertices. And what we do is we consider the maximal degenerations of YDL, which will have singularities at zero strata. So we will not be able to run Grosseva's intrinsic mirror symmetry. And we explain 
what mirror symmetry construction should we use here to construct a mirror of YDL. So this intersection complex will have singularities at the origin roughly. So we, I will describe what it means to have intersection complex and dual intersection complex. Um, and the dual, though, you will have singularities only inside the maximal strata, which is a situation where you can, can run Grossi-Bett intrinsic mirror symmetry. So what we do is to provide a recipe like in the old um, early on framework of gross but one can talk about the double mirror, like if you have a mirror of a toric degeneration, it's a toric degeneration, you can talk about the double mirror. And the new framework, it's not possible to talk about the double mirror because intrinsic mirrors are generally the generations which are not log smooth to a given maximal log smooth degeneration. And what we do is to construct the converse so that we can talk about the double mirror. So what we do is we start with YDL, we give a mirror construction, which we call semi-stable mirrors. And um, we call the mirrors of such YDL um, X over X bar, they will again be Crepant resolutions. And um, to such semi-stable mirrors, I will tell what they are. We will construct, again, the mirrors to such Crepant resolutions. And the goal is to obtain a family of um, KSBA. The goal is to obtain a family uh, the KSB modular space corresponding to the YDL after running such a double mirror construction. So the first thing we need to provide is what is the mirror to YDL with a given maximum degeneration, and then we need to show if you run the double mirror, um, we get KSB stability and details like that. So here is the double mirror construction, the first input to understand mirrors to YDL, to get over the maximal degeneration. Before passing to that, I want to mention our goal eventually is to describe to a given YDL what the mirror is and describe the morphon. We will declare it to be the generalization of the secondary fun and we will show this is the KSV emotionalized space. So, can you read the post-structure, post-structure of the pair? Yes, we provide, so this is the main input, so what we provide, we provide canonically a construction of a Crepant resolution out of the data of, this, of a maximum degeneration of YDL. So you read the mixed construction the degeneration of Right, we do. And I do should mention, the role of secondary fun is crucial in mirror symmetry. There are also papers of both me and Concerto and his quarters investigating several properties, applications of mirror symmetry where secondary fun appears. We do hope there should be generalizations that we can be some of them also in this non toric setup. It's a good one to discuss. We haven't talked yet. So, 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 it is working in any dimension or just for why on the uh, We did everything where YDL. Not everything, but some of the things we did on YDL is of dimension two. Some of the things work easily in any dimension. But I will tell you concretely why we did everything when Y is a surface on dimension two. It's particularly because understanding by rational geometry of surfaces, there are just M1 and M2 flops. You can understand how mirrors change under M1 and M2 flops. When you go to higher dimension, the birational geometry gets complicated. So, so far we did only um, surfaces. But we expect there should be a higher dimensional generalization. So, is the whole model we have been generated, uh, generation of the way of the construction? I mean, the model we have been constructed. Right, so that's a good question. Um, there is some way to use, like in this, all the generation data, there are log structures. The way one can understand the monodromy of the generations is to look log the generation data. So there's a topological space to any um, degeneration 
or the Katona Kayama stay is one if one understands faces and the Katona Kayama stay is one can roughly understand monochromy data. And some simple cases I mentioned in a early on paper about Katona Kayama spaces that I think is there is ongoing work of proof that et al. and his collaborators who might be able to tell you who well, I don't know if this guy I know but what about it? Um, as far as I understand, he is currently working with uh, Diego Matesi and um, Ilya Jarko and possibly with Che if you might want similar questions. So, um, okay, here is our how our semi-stable mirrors to maximal degenerations um, are constructed. So what we do is we use a previous result of angle and treatment, which says that any local ABL polarized local ABL YDL up to corner blowups, which we can control, admits a nice toric model Y bar D bar, bar L bar, which is a toric variety, Y bar. And the uh, ample line bundle L arises as L minus some, some coefficients A I times the exceptional divisors. Um, so this is a nice story model in the sense that if you draw the momentum point of image of the toric variety Y bar, then you can obtain the sign of what we call the Symington polytop, which is which you can visualize as the base of an almost story vibration on YDL, just by cutting out some triangles from the toric momentum point of in a particularly nice way and gluing the edges, remaining edges together so that you get focus, focus singularities giving some nice singular fibers. So by cutting out triangles in a nice way, I mean they do prove there is a toric variety whose momentum point of has a central point, and you can cut out triangles in a way when you join the central point to the vertices, all the triangles you cut out remain inside these big triangles you obtain. So this gives us what we want to obtain the intersection complex of the maximal degeneration of a maximal degeneration of YDL. Um, so to get a maximal degeneration, we need to show that you can obtain a coherent regular subdivision on such an intersection complex. So we completely construct and show that there is a nice triangulation. You can join the central point to the tips of the triangles and then do some pulling construction and uh, we first show that in such uh, in such summing symptoms associated to YDL, you can obtain a coherent subdivision, and this describes the maximal degeneration of YDL, such that the central fiber has this given intersection complex. And then we start already with this data, which encodes some geometry of our original YDL. Um, to run the mirror construction, our goal is to describe the central fiber of a so-called mirror degeneration, which we denote by X0, such that this central fiber now has dual intersection complex, this picture. And here I drew a picture. If you look at uh, X0, the normal crossing surface we want to construct X0 first, the normal crossing surface, whose dual intersection complex is the signing point of, together with the triangulation we obtain by results of angular Friedman. So the not signing point of, we obtain results by angular Friedman, if we show there's a nice triangulation. And then we construct a normal crossing surface. So here I drew, and then you give you a picture of how P can look, at, look like if you cut out some triangles here, here's a central point. The dual of this picture will look like this. So we, uh, uh, we construct a normal crossing surface as union of uh, surfaces where uh, if you have a vertex on some like interior smooth point of your triangulation, you just take the toric surface around these where the fun is this toric fun. If you are somewhere on the boundary, you take the non-compact 
non complete toric surface whose fun is this non complete fun. And if you are at a singular point, then we need to do some deformation theory to describe what your irreducible component of your normal crossing surface is. So when we do want to picture, you observe that whatever you cut out has the mass property, the fine length, the fine height are always equal to a fine length. So the singularities you get um, are, so we, we take, if you're on a singular point, the smooth local labial surface, which we obtain by the formation theory um, of smoothing a uh, toric surface, which has just the well singularities um, of the type a2 over 1 over n squared, 1 a n minus 1, here a and n are determined by what you cut out. So the rough line is you want to construct a normal crossing surface which is having like intersection complex looking like the dual of the intersection, nice intersection complex you associate to YDL. So you want to leave all these regions as momentum points of images of irreducible components. And then there are some irreducible components you obtain by smoothing. So if you cut out this triangle, we describe a recipe to push on singularities and do some smoothing. It uses some deformation theory because we do smoothing in pairs. And then we obtain first this normal crossing surface. And then the second thing we do is to construct a mirror smoothing this normal crossing surface. So we show that there exists a semi-stable cooling of the irreducible components. You can do them in a nice way of X0 such that you can smooth things uh, in a way that the total space is going to be smooth and X0 will lie inside the total space is a reduced normal crossing to visa. In other words, we get a semi-stable degeneration. And the total space is quasi projective a trivial canonical model. And there exists a contraction map from the total space to um, X bar, uh, which is a map which essentially contracts all compact curves such that X bar is an f variety with canonical singularities, and uh, this is a Crepon resolution. And to prove these, um, we essentially prove everything on the level of X0, then uh, the form things. To prove all these statements, we use both smooth the deformation theory. And a lot of statements were proven by Friedman and the setup of smoothing normal crossing PHG surfaces before. Um, here, our central fiber is non compact, so there are some technical subtleties to be addressed. And the proofs are significantly different because this beautiful proof of Friedman uses some beautiful geometry of K3 surfaces, such as minus one property and so on, which we don't have. Okay, so. Um, then once we construct this mirror, we use the minimal model program, which says that by our construction, we have this projective Crepon resolution, x to x bar. It follows from our construction that this is a Mori dream space, and indeed, in this situation, we use, um, so there are various generalizations of the minimal model program. So this is the degeneration of a formal disk. Is X. But there are like generalizations of the minimal model program to the formal setup, which says this is a Mori dream space. So, as you were asking, indeed, there's a complete toric fun, which is the Mori fun, uh, whose maximal cones are net cones of all projective Crepon resolutions of this F1 variety X bar. And our goal is to describe the secondary fun just as this Mori fun. But not quite, there's some subtlety, we just coarsen it by identifying different cones which just differ by n1 flops. So an n1 flop is the flop that I illustrated here. If you have an exceptional pair on one component, you contract and flow up at the other side. So we describe the secondary fan as the Mori fan associated to this, up to identifying cones different by n1 flops. And the idea of 
I don't find such constraint by Montlops and the man six cases appears on hiking theory. Okay, so the main one of the key subtleties want to describe this mirror construction is to show <coughs> if we do the double mirror, if we take the mirror of this, you obtain a KSP family of this Morifan, our coarsened Morifan. And so our goal is to show that the toric variety associated to the secondary fun is a finite cover of the KSP emotional space. So to show, to achieve this, we construct a family of stable pairs over this toric variety. And this will give us by the universal property a map from the toric variety to the KSP space. And now we still need to show um, that uh, this map is finite, a finite color, and um, the solidity is the first step to show we get a case-based stable family, not only a universal family. And to do this, we consider the intrinsic mirror symmetry framework to analyze properties of the mirror family of x over x bar we get over the secondary family. I should mention in the long six cases uh, where you have sort of self mirrors, the mirror to y is ky, or x, the x is ky, uh, they don't use the intrinsic mirror symmetry, uh, they study properties of the non Archimedean mirror construction due to QU, but this does not apply for any, um, yeah, this, this does not apply in generality because this. Mirror construction hasn't yet been available over fields of non trivial valuation. And after I first gave the talk uh, last month, uh, we were notified by Sean Kiel that the PhD student of him is extending this to mirror construction. At this time, it's not yet available. So, the, okay, so what do we do? Once we construct a mirror to YDL as this clip on resolution, we study the intrinsic Grossebert mirror to the semi-stable family. So the Grossebert framework tells us that there is a family of uh, the formal scheme, spec formal NEX, the Morricone con of effective curve clusters on X. And this uses punctured locomobitan theory. But the subtlety is our family is not projective and this framework applies only for projected families. So we generalize this construction. We show that all modular spaces of punctured log maps appearing in this construction are compact. So the mirror, the mirror intrinsic mirror construction goes through. We can apply to our x to x bar. And then another key point is actually you don't get a family only over the formal spec formal, but you get a family of a toric variety, spec C and E X. And to show that we what we show is so this family is, is given by an algebra of theta functions with punctured slot maps the structure constants defining the multiplication of theta functions. What we show is in this family if you multiply two theta functions and e two the structure constants given by such punctured slot maps is actually uh, there are only finitely many possibilities of such punctured plot maps that can appear. So here we use some birational geometry of the curve on resolution to constrain all such curve classes of such punctured plot maps to um, prove that first we can run mirror symmetry and then we get a mirror not only a formal scheme but a oratory variety. Once we get the mirror of the toric variety, uh, we call it, it's given by the approach of the algebra of theta functions here. Um, we also use this theta functions to define the divisor in this mirror family. We use these particular theta functions to define an ideal which gives a divisor. And there's a natural line bundle, um, and we define uh, our C using uh, this ample line bundle. And we show that you can actually get a nice mirror together with this type of divisor. And this is going to be a family. We show this is a family of case space stable local available surfaces. What took most of our time 
is to showcase the stability of this family. And um, the Tuchanan Faba is uh, the formation influence our original radial. And um, the proof to show stability uses variational geometry interpretation of the faces of the net column. I don't know how much in detail Kirik will go through this proof. We just study all birational maps from X to say X prime and then look at singularities and neighborhoods or around these singularities and fibers and then do some inductive description of the intrinsic parents. And then to show the deformation equivalence, we first use the log geometry, Katonakayama framework. We first show inside this mirror there is a toric degeneration locus, and we can understand the mirror of in that locus uh, using Katonakayama spaces and show we get a the, the, we get a diffeomorphism from the mirror fiber to YDL. And then we use results of Friedman saying in which conditions this diffeomorphism is a deformation equivalent. So Finally, we get k space stable mirror families or over the net codes. Uh, once when we have a crepant resolution, for every crepant resolution, we get a, such a mirror family. And then we do some arguments saying that we can glue these families naturally, these mirror families naturally expand into a family of k space stable surfaces over the toric variety uh, whose fun is the secondary fan we define as the Mori fan of the Meron module of some identification. And similar gluing ideas are used in upcoming work of cross hacking Hill Zivat, uh, where Gross already wrote a gluing paper about such situations, and he showed we can similarly do things and obtain a case pay family of, uh, and obtain. Uh, family over the toric variety, so we get a natural map. And we show this map is finite and surjective. To show finiteness, there is an Aegean hacking kill you saying that if you have a map from a toric variety like this, it's enough to show its restriction to one dimensional strata is one constant. And it follows here because we use this identification. Uh, and one plus, and then we do some calculation of dimensions to show it's subjective. This is all that I wanted to tell you about. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.